welcome to Trinity Kids. Hi, welcome to Trinity Kids. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in every way. Welcome back. I hope you've had a really good week and if you started school this week, I hope it's gone really well for you. We've been praying for you so much at Trinity Kids and we'll keep praying for you over this week too. Anyway, let's get on with the Lord's Prayer. Let's get up on our feet and let's pray together. Our Father, in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm so excited to be with you this morning and to worship with you. We've got our party lights up, so we're going to worship together. Why don't you jump off your sofa, shake it all out, grab your parents, whoever you're with. We're going to dance and we're going to celebrate God together. You're here, you're there, you're everywhere. You're here with us. I know, you know, just how I feel, you know, my heart. God is with me wherever I go. God is with me wherever I go. God is with me wherever I go. God is with me. You're here, you're there, you're everywhere, you're here with me. I know, you know, just how I feel, you know my heart. God is with me wherever I go. God is with me. Did you know? 
you know what? Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. The Holy Spirit is alive and always with us. Did you know? Did you know what? Uh, uh, oh, oh. No. We are the church lighting up the world for Jesus. Holy Spirit, help us to share God's love. God's love. Power to glow, glow, glow. Power to glow, glow, glow. story about David. This is a good one. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I'm Jared. I'm Andrew. And we're here to tell you a Bible story. Our story is about one of the most famous heroes in all of the Bible, King David. 
But our story begins long before David is king, so let's rewind to when David was just a boy. Beep boop. Now, David was the youngest of eight brothers, so he had to do the jobs that nobody else wanted to do, like taking care of his father's sheep. <laughs> Gross. Hey, sheep's gotta do what a sheep's gotta do. And it turned out that David was actually a really good shepherd. In fact, one day, a lion attacked the sheep. Meow. What was that? You said it was like a cat attack, right? Like... No, a, a lion, a ferocious lion. Oh, like a... Much better. <laughs> But David fought back and he killed the lion. I'm dead. Then, another day, a bear attacked the sheep. Oh. What was that? I can barely do that sound. But David fought back and he killed the bear too. I'm dead too. While David was taking care of his father's sheep, his brothers had a much more important job. They were in the Israelite army, preparing for an epic battle. Get to the chopper! What was all of that? What are you talking about? You said they're in a battle, epic battle. Yes, but this took place a long time ago. Okay. Bible times. Yeah. No guns, no bombs, no choppers. What do they have? It's like swords. Wait a minute, what about guns that shoot swords? That's not a thing. What if there was a gun that shoots a sword Andrew. and that pulls the Andrew. trigger of another gun that shoots Let's, two Andrew. swords? Let's just get back to the story. Okay, yeah, sorry, back to the story. While his brothers were preparing for this epic battle with swords, David's father was concerned about them. So he sent David on an errand to bring them some food. David gathered some grain and some bread and some cheese. Oh, he brought us some Lunchables. What a nice brother, that's so nice. Dude, were they pizza Lunchables? Those are the best kind. Pizza Lunchables, totally the best. Best brother ever. Okay, Andrew, once again, this takes place in Bible times. Okay. Long time ago. Yeah. They did not have Lunchables back then. Okay, hit the brakes. So first you're telling me this, they don't have guns back then. True. Then you're telling me they don't have Lunchables back then. Also correct. Next thing you're gonna say is, oh, they don't have cell phones either. <laughs> uh, Andrew, they, they didn't have cell phones back then either. I knew it! When David brought the food to his brothers, they were all hiding. Because out on the battlefield, there was a giant with a massive sword. <laughs> he was shielded in bronze. <laughs> bronze. He stood 10 feet tall. <laughs> 10 feet. And his name was... Goliath. Why are you talking like that? That's how giants talk. And how do you know this? I saw it on the History Channel. When David arrived on the battlefield, Goliath was insulting the people of God, even cursing God himself. Beep. Oh, Goliath's a cusser? None of the other soldiers wanted to fight Goliath because they were all too afraid. But David wasn't. David knew with God on his side, Goliath didn't stand a chance. David came up with a plan. He went down to a stream and he chose five smooth stones. Okay, here I am at the stream, need five smooth stones. Let's see, let's see, one, okay. That's pretty smooth, keep that one. Okay. Two, nope, too jaggedy. Whoa! Uh. Uh, Andrew, what is that? It's a fish. I grabbed the fish on accident. What do I do? Just, just put it back. What? Well, just put it back. Uh, okay. Let's see. That one's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, hey. This one's squishy. That's a frog. Ah! Oh, I'm keeping it. Well, no, don't. Okay. You... And see. Good to go. Let's go kill a giant. David marched to the battlefield right toward the giant. When Goliath saw him coming, he started to make fun of David. But David wasn't bothered by what Goliath said because David knew who God said he was. And with God on his side, Goliath didn't stand a chance. David reached into his bag and he pulled out a stone. Still got the frog, don't you? Yeah, he's real cute. Andrew, could, could you just get rid of the frog, please? Uh, excuse me, his name is Carlos. Andrew, could you get rid of Carlos, please? Okay, fine. We no, Andrew! Andrew, spit it out. Spit mm -mm. the frog out. Mm -mm. Andrew, spit it out. Mm -mm. Spit him out. <clears throat> Did you just eat that frog? That's really salty. <clears throat>
David reached in his pouch and he pulled out a stone. He put it in his sling and he spun it around above his head. Just then Goliath drew his massive sword and charged. The giant stormed across the battlefield right towards David. But David held his ground because he knew who God said he was. As Goliath got closer, David began to swing faster and faster and faster, waiting for the perfect shot. He took a deep breath and he let it rip. What was that? What are you talking about? You said he let it rip, right? No, like he threw the rock, he let it fly. Oh, like, yes. Like that kind of let it, I'm sorry, that's my bad. That's, um, that's me, I'm sorry, keep going, just get back to the story. The stone flew through the air and hit Goliath right between the eyes. The stone sunk deep into his head and Goliath fell to the ground. <laughs> Andrew, are you okay? I'm dead. Then how are you talking? I'm a ghost. C come on, man. Let's finish the story. Okay. So David reached down, picked up Goliath's sword, <laughs> and he chopped off his head. That's a lot of blood. Oh, almost done. He's out. David reached down and picked up Goliath's head and he showed it to the armies of the Philistines. Dun, 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 dun. That day, David That day, David showed <laughs> That day, David showed everyone that even though he was just a boy, he could still do the great things that God had planned for him. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of David and Goliath. David and Goliath is just one of my favorite stories in the Bible. I love how this little boy manages to defeat a massive, massive giant. And we all have giants in our lives, don't we? Not actual real giants, but we all have things that we're scared of or we're worried about. But this story reminds us that with God, we can conquer anything. God loves us so much. He wants to help us with the things we're worried about, the things we're fearful for. He is there for us. So if you're worried about anything or you're scared about something, just remember you can talk to God and he can help you just like he helped David conquer that Goliath. For this week's activity, have a look at this and maybe see if you could make your own David and Goliath story at home. Out! Out! In! Good morning everyone. We're going to pray up, out and in. And we're going to start by, by praying up first. And this can be a time where we just look into God and thanking him for all that he is and just showing our praise to him. So Lord, we just want to say you are an incredible father. You are so, so good to us. Thank you that your love never ends for us, never fails. No matter what we've done, no matter what we do, you just love us so, so much. Thank you that you're always with us, and that you promise that you'll never leave us. Thank you, God. Amen. Next, we're going to pray out, and this is when we think of all of the people that are in our schools, in our families. Um, it can be anyone, absolutely anyone. So, Lord, we just want to say thank you so much for all of the people in our lives. Thank you that you love all of us so much we just pray that you'll feel so so close to to both the people that know you and the people that don't know you for the people that are going through good times we thank you and for the people that are going through difficult times they might be struggling they might be lonely they might be ill we just pray that you'll step into those situations lord thank you that your heart for us is to to bless us so we just ask that you do that lord Amen. And finally, we're going to pray 
in. And this is a time when we can just be really open and honest with God and just bring all of our thoughts to him. So Lord, thank you that you know what's in our hearts before we even ask. Thank you, you know what we need. Thank you that there's nothing that can separate us from your love. And we just ask that you'll feel so close to us at this time. And if there are things that we struggle with, we pray that we can bring them to you. We pray that you can bring us peace. And we just say, Lord, that we need you to be close to us. Through the good times, through the bad times, thank you that you're always there. Thank you that you love us so, so much. Amen. Beautiful day.